Hey, what's up there, guys? <clears throat> this is Mr. Maestas, and I am going to talk to you today about solving exponential equations. And it says any inequalities, but I'm actually not going to do inequalities. This is just simply solving exponential equations. And this one, we're going to do solving them with equal bases. So that's the thing. We got to we got to make sure that the bases are the same. All right, these bases right here, BB. You see that BB? BB. Hey, BB. These got to be the same. We gotta have the same bases because if they're the same bases, we could take the exponents and set them equal to one another. That makes sense. That should make sense to you, right? If I have two to the one, all right, I'll just write this down here. <clears throat> if I have two to the one power, and that's equal to two to the x power, then x has got to be one, right? That's the only way it's gonna be equal. So these guys right here, if the bases are the same, we can set the we could set the uh, powers equal to one another, okay? So let's take a look at um, some steps and some examples, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you rewrite the equations so that both sides have the same base. Now, this is gonna take a little bit of thinking. So it's gonna take some brain power, guys. You're gonna have to look and figure out, oh man, what do these have in common that they can be the same base? All right, it's gonna be a little tricky for some of them. You gotta just kinda figure it out. You're going to use that property of equality that I just went over to create a new equation that's just the exponents, and then you're going to solve it, all right? So let's take a look at an example here. So um, <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to make these bases the same. So we want to see if, if 256 is 256, can that be put as a power of 4? Well, it actually can. 256 is 4 to the fourth power. And then we can write that as 4 to the 9 and minus 2. And you're probably saying, Mr. Maestas, how did you get that that's 4 to the 4th power in your head? How am I supposed to do that? Well, I, you know, I actually I cheated. I used a calculator. So if a number is kind of that big, probably use a calculator. Um, but I do know that, I do know actually that from the top of my head that 2 to the 8th power is 256. So some of these you're going to recognize, some of you are you're not. Um, but but hopefully you get a chance to start recognizing some of these um, powers of numbers here. Once we have them the same base, we're going to take the exponents, and we're just going to make those equal to each other. So we're going to have 9n minus 2 equals 4. That's it. Just get rid of the base. That's it. Just get rid of the base. Look at the exponents. Now we're going to solve. Come on, guys. This is an easy problem to solve now, right? We just add 2 divide by 9, and we get n equals, simplify that out, that's going to be 2 thirds, right? 3 goes into both of them. That's my answer. That's all there is to it, okay? The hardest part here is figuring out that this is 4 to the 4th, all right? Let's take a look at another one. 4 to the 5x equals 8 to the 2x minus 1. Well, you know what? 8 is not, you know, 4 squared is 16, so that's not going to work to say this is 4 squared, right? Because 4 squared is 16. So we gotta actually figure out this, that these are four, four is two squared, and eight is two cubed. Now the bases are the same, right? All right, well, we, we can't forget about this five x, so we're gonna multiply this five x here. We can't forget about this two x minus one, so we're gonna multiply two x minus one. And then now we're gonna take our powers, our exponents. I got the power! That was horrible. Don't I didn't do it. Okay. 10x equals, and we've got to distribute that. Oh, I'll just write it out. 3 times 2x minus 1. All right, so now I'm going to distribute this guy. 6x minus 3. Uh, we'll subtract 6x from both sides. And we get 4x equals negative 3. So x is negative 3 fourths. May the fourth be with you. All right, so that's what we get for our answer, right? Let's take a look at a couple practice problems and then we'll, we'll call it quits here. Uh, six to the two X plus three and two sixteen to the two X. Remember, we're gonna have to figure out if we can make two sixteen into a power of six. It actually does, two sixteen I believe is six cubed, okay? All right, go ahead and finish that out and see if you get the same answers I do. You want to pause it here because I'm going to show you the answer. All right, so here we've got the answer. All right, again, see 216 is 6 cubed. All right, we solve it. Okay, one last one. 
Oh, it's a fraction. So I'm going to tell you this, guys. When it's a fraction, you're probably going to have a negative power. All right? Because remember that the negative power gives you a fraction. And I know that 32 is 2 to the, I believe it's to the fifth. All right, so um, this is going to be 2 to the negative fifth, right? All right, go finish it out, and then you can see if you get this right answer. Bam! Is that what you got? Good. Guys, we're done. That's it. That's all there is to it, all right? Again, the hardest part is going to be getting those powers, to getting those bases equal. Um, if you're in my class tomorrow, we're going to practice this. We're going to practice and we're going to practice. We've got to get these right, all right? All right, that's it. There is, that's all there is to it. I will see you and talk to you next time. Goodbye.